Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Hope you had a great holiday. For the past few months, I've been doing a lot of Zoom trainings with individuals ranging from librarians to teachers to people who just wanna take advantage of some of Zoom's advanced features. One of the things I've noticed when I get to things like polling and breakout rooms is individuals will say, I don't have those buttons in my Zoom window. Do I have those features? Well, as it turns out, some of the features in Zoom need to be enabled in settings in order to take advantage of them. So today, we're gonna to take a look at the settings screen in the Zoom website and how to enable polling, breakout rooms and a couple of other features. So let's jump right in. So you're going to want to go to your account in Zoom. And over on the left side, there's a link for settings. Now, in settings, there are a couple of different sets of settings ranging from security to email notifications to in meeting settings. Uh, there's a lot here. And I really recommend taking a couple of minutes and looking through the different settings within this screen. Uh, in taking some time and going through this, I've discovered some really cool features that you can enable in Zoom. So I definitely recommend you take a couple minutes and go through this. But what we're gonna focus on today is polling and breakout rooms. So in the settings screen, we're going to go to the in-meeting basic settings. Now in this section, there's things like chat settings and saving chats and file transfers and chat and all that kind of stuff. But if we uh, scroll down a little bit, there's two settings I wanna quickly point out. One is we can enable polling. So if you wanna take advantage of the polling feature of Zoom, which is awesome, definitely wanna make sure this is checked off. The other thing is um, you can enable co-hosts in your meetings if it's not already enabled. Now a co-host is a huge asset if you're running a large Zoom session any more than like 10 people and I always have a co-host to help me manage the chat and incoming questions and the waiting room and all that kind of stuff. So you're definitely gonna wanna make sure this is enabled. So the in-meeting basic section has those checkboxes, make sure those are turned on. If we jump down to the in-meeting advanced section, uh, the second option is breakout rooms. Now breakout rooms, if you've never used them, are amazing. It basically lets you take your Zoom session and split it up into little sub Zoom sessions. So for example, if you were, are uh, teaching a large group of kids and wanna do some group work, you can split them up into groups of five or six students and they can work together in a little private breakout room. This is also really helpful if you're running a seminar of some kind and you wanna have some breakout groups, uh, little discussion groups, that kind of thing. You can split people up into these breakout rooms so they have their own little private spaces to have these discussions. In my undergrad class that I taught last semester, I could not have survived the semester without breakout rooms. They're absolutely essential. So if you want to take advantage of this feature, you're definitely going to want to flip this checkbox here. The other thing that's really cool is there's this checkbox which says allow host to assign participants to breakout rooms when scheduling. What's great about this is when you're scheduling your meeting, you can set up your breakout rooms beforehand. So instead of having to set up your breakout rooms and assign everybody in the meeting, which can take a little bit of time, you can set up your breakout rooms when you schedule the meeting and they'll be all set up and ready to go as soon as you launch that meeting. So I think that's definitely worth checking off. Um, so this is just a small piece of some of the settings you can enable in Zoom. As I mentioned, I definitely recommend taking some time to explore these settings and see what's in here. And if you come across anything really good, please share it in the comments. I'd love to share that with some of the people I'm training in Zoom. And that's all I've got for you today. As always, hit that subscribe button. I release new tech tips every week at noon. And check out the DAE.com for our full list of online workshops, private lessons, and summer camp. And if you have an idea for a tech tip you'd like to see me create, throw it in the comments and I'll do my best. Thanks and have a great day.